What's crack lacking candle crew and all those watching who may be new This is your main man quiz the fun coming at you with episode 4 of our Pokemon Crimson Skies Nuzlocke In the last episode you guys we made it into this forest cave here I don't know what's going on I'm lost but we're gonna try to make it out of this forest and it'll be great but, if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video, it means the world to me. I hope you stick around, I hope you stick around even if you're not new, because you guys are awesome. But before we get into this episode, we are going to click into the window, and then we're going to get a party update. So here we go. We've got, okay, alright, alright fingers. Starting off strong, that's what, this is what you gotta expect when you come to this LP. Is my fingers aren't gonna do what I want them to do, and we're gonna have to click things over and over again to get it right. But, we have Compost, our level 10, Shroomish, with Poison Heal, by the way. With Absorb, Tackle, Stun Spore, and Leech Seed, we have Zuko, our level 10, Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil, with Tackle, Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember. And then we have Kevin, our level 4, level, level 4, 4, with, um, our Pit of, with Gust and Growl. And then we have Ren, which, by the way, I messed up on the name, because it's not Ren that does the thing where it allows you to sense people in your surroundings, it's N. Just E-N. Oh well. I still like the name Ren. With Tackle and Leer, and that wraps up our party. We've got a pretty deep party here. But I think today, I think today, we're gonna let Ren do some switch training here. And I think that'll be great for him. But, before we get into this episode, make sure you guys hit that like button, because you already know, you already know, this is going to be a great episode. So hit the, like, hit the like button if you want to support me. It would be greatly appreciated. But let's battle. Okay, we already battled you. Just kidding. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Who do we have to battle? Oh, Pokeball. First, we got to get an item. Items are precedent. Is that the right word? I don't know. Someone grab me a dictionary. No item here. Um, You? Let's go, man. Gotta keep it cool. I ain't no fool. The bars. The bars! Okay, I respect you. I respect you. Youngster Tom with your Esper. Man, that was, mm, that was good. That was grand. That was dandy. The question of the day for today's video uh, is going to be, who's your favorite team member so far? So, you can answer that now, or you can wait to see if we get another encounter in today's episode. But, uh, you just, you know, I think, for right now, my favorite team member is gonna be Compost. Because, first of all, I just love Shroomish and Breloom. Um, should I be using my potions? Probably not, but I'm going to, because I want Ren to get all this experience. Um, but yeah, Compost, it's just, it, it, hit, it hits me in some, in, in a special place. Because I've used Compost the Breloom many a time before. Okay, Ren, come on. Come on, man. I, I can't be doing this with you. I can't be wasting all my potions on you, man. I'm going to, but but I can't be. Because you need this experience. But you gotta you gotta come on now. You gotta be you gotta do a little bit better than that. Don't crit me. Okay. Now just don't crit. Don't crit my Ren, and we'll be okay. Don't okay, we're good. We're good. We're friends. Goodbye, Esper. Now can you get a level off this? Oh you you're definitely getting you're in like two levels. I'm calling it two. You got Odor Sleuth. All right, can we get a three? Woo! That was close. Okay, so we're gonna stay in and then we're gonna swap. We're gonna stay in and then we're going to swap out. I could go ahead, because you got Gust, don't you? You've got Gust, I believe. This could be great. We could get our, our low level bonds, some great experience, and that would just be something I would love to do. Oh, pfft. Absorb, come on now. Come on now. Kevin, get in here. Get up in here and gust this shroomish. Is that the best you have? You don't even have a tackle for me? Oh, this is sad. This is embarrassing. You are nothing compared to compost. Wow. Okay. All right, Kevin. Come on. You're going to need to do a little better than that. You're going to need to do a little bit better than that. Whoa. Is that a tackle? I think that was a tackle. Kevin, we ain't got no potions. I'm going to need to crit. I'm going to need to crit right now. Kevin, I'm going to need to crit. I'm telling you right now, you better give me a crit. If you don't, I don't know what to say. Kevin! Kevin! Come on, Kevin. Oh, we outsped. How did we outspeed? Did you go for like a negative? There's a crit! I don't know if it mattered, 
But I'm gonna say it did just because I wanna say it did, you know? There's a level for Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like there were places we had yet to explore. What is up here? Nope, anything over here? Come on, there we go, okay, okay. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think we were going the right way. So now we go up here, maybe? All right, all right, that looks like the way to go. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. Schoolgirl Gina sends out the Pidove, the Pidove. I got a rent for your Pidove, and I don't know what you think you're trying to do, but I'm definitely swapping out into Zuko. Definitely swapping out into my boy Zuko. Into my boy Zuko. He's got a scar on his eye, and he don't know why. But don't don't click don't click that Quinn. Don't do that. Uh, we're gonna go for the Ember. If this isn't a two-hit KO, I'm gonna be a little surprised. Okay, yep, yep. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. We might have to go heal up soon, despite the fact that I want to keep the poison on compost. I just can't be can't be spending these potions like this. Teddy Ursa, we're gonna swap. We're gonna do a little switch of Rooney. Go back into Ren, because I want Ren to get to level 10. Hashtag bizarres. Look at his little tail. Look at his little tail just wagging. Oh, it's great. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. Uh, now, I could probably... You you might have, like... No, I doubt you have a fighting type move, but still. I'm gonna play it safe. Got into compost. His compost is fully healed, and he's got poison heal, and we can do so all sorts of things. Did we get leech seed last episode? I think we might have. I think we might have got leech seed last episode. Hey! Don't crit me. There's the poison heal. There it is. There it is. No. Why? I told you guys. I told you. We did get leech seed. We're just gonna stay in and absorb though. I don't think we need a leech seed for this. I don't think we need a leech. We might need a leech seed. That's pathetic damage, compost. I know you're a physical attacker, but come on. You gotta do a little better than that. But like the the poison heal leech seed absorb combo is just mmm. Mmm. And what I really want it to be in the future is a poison heal. I really hope it stays poison heal as a Breloom. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. But I want a poison heal, leech seed, drain punch. That right there makes me happy inside. See, and the other thing with a Breloom is you could run the technician drain punch, which is just as good. Which is honestly, technician's probably better than poison heal. It definitely is. But I just love me some poison heal. I really do. And I think, what is it, you have to get a Shroomish with Quick Feet, I think? And then when it evolves, it turns into Technician? I think? I could be wrong. I remember trying to hunt for one in Auras to get a, um... Ooh! Who learned Bite? Was that? That had to be Ren. That had to be Ren. Uh, but I remember looking at Auras for, a uh, uh, Shroomish with Quick Feet, I think. And... Where are we going? There's- Oh my goodness, there's so many trainers! Hold on. I think we did- ooh! I think we did go the right way. I want to backtrack and make sure I fight everyone because we need all the experience we can get. We need all of that experience. Oh, yep. Yep. This was a dead end. Alright. 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 Ah! 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 I dripped some coffee on me! Some coffee on me! Alright, I think Ren can, uh, can do the work here. We outspeed, we got a stab tackle. Oh! Oh! Ren! Ren, Ren, Ren! That is the damage I'm looking for in a Pokemon. That is the damage that I'm looking for. Beautiful. Who you wanna send out? Ninkata? Ninkata? Boy. Boy. I think I did that last episode, I need to stop that. It's just, wow, you've got some defense, I'll tell you that. But, um. The way Ben Ben loves doing that, he loves the boy, uh, so that's why I've been doing it a lot. Cause he's been doing it, and I've been around Ben nonstop. And I think I don't think we can win this one, Ren. I think you're gonna have to swap out. We're gonna have to swap out into Zuko, into Zuko, cause 
Leech Life, although it's only like base 15, is super effective on compost, and we don't want none of that. We don't want none of that! And we resist it with Zuko. So, and we have a super effective stab move on this guy, so there's really no reason to- STOP IT! Ha! Ah! I really wish it would like reset uh, when I got out of Pokemon and I swapped in and just reset to attack so I could just click and be all good, but no. But no. Darn it! Darn it. Darn it all. You were a girl- you were a female? I'm sorry, I thought you were a man with a bowl cut. I thought you were a man with a bowl cut. Fun fact of the day, when I was in like elementary school, I had a bowl cut and I rocked it hard. I rocked it all day, every day, and people were afraid of me. No, they weren't. No, they were not. They were not afraid of me at all. But it's okay. How many trainers are there? There's 18 more trainers I have to fight. I can't believe this. I thought we were going to get out of this maze in this episode, but it doesn't look like it because there are billions of people who want to fight me. And I'm probably- Fletchling! And I'm probably going to have to- uh, What? English? Probably going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center because I don't have any more potions and everyone's just dying out here because everyone's in the orange and that's not good. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. This is actually kind of scary, uh, but I don't think Fletchling is a fire type yet. I do not think so. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. Go for a growl or something. Just, just go. Okay, or a tackle. Ah, this is scary. Can we one shot Zuko? One shot. Just, just. Boom. There we go. Okay, yeah, we're definitely running back to the Pokemon Center. One hundred percent running back. Okay, you've got another Mon. I'm terrified. We can go out into compost. Okay. Okay. We can go out into compost. We're good. We're okay. Why does it have to be this intense this early? All I had to do was run back to the Pokemon Center, and I would have been fine, but now I'm just here and scared, and it's just bad. Okay. We're gonna Leech Seed, because I want you gone as fast as possible. As quickly, as humanly as possible. What? What? So, I really want to, um, to figure out how to make this mic sound really good. Because I know it can sound great. I've heard people who record with it and it sounds fantastic. And I think there's an EQ setting, uh, or uh, not setting, but like, an EQ that I can put on the, on top of the audio file to make it sound better. And I hope that is the case. You can't paralyze me. I hope that is the case. Because, um, it sounds great. It does. It sounds wonderful. I'm not complaining about it at all. But, I think it can sound better. I do. I think it's got more potential than what it is putting out right now. So I want to see if I can finagle it to see if it sounds better. Well, we'll see. We shall see. At the moment right now, I am at Ben's house alone, which is fantastic because I love like recording at Ben's in general because it just gives me a better, more easy place to record than my own house. But my favorite thing is just recording by myself no one's in the house, I can just scream and shout and let it all out, and it's a good time. Because, um, when Ben's in the house or when his mom's home, I just, I don't want to, like, be so loud that I'm just a burden. Because they're letting me, uh, another Pokemon! You need to calm down. Because they're letting me come in here and, uh, they're letting me use their house as a recording place, which I'm so thankful for. But, and so th I don't want to be a burden to them because then... I, I just don't want to be. I just don't want to be. So, uh, I'm really excited for when... What? How do we use 35 tackles already? Someone let me know. There's no way. There's no way. That's... I am appalled. There's no way we use 35 tackles already. That's craziness. That is craziness. I don't have anything to heal. But... When I move out and get an apartment, probably with Ben... But it's gonna be different because it's just gonna be Ben and not Ben and his mom. Um, because then we can just be as loud as we want and it'll be great. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to. And it'll, I think it'll definitely spike the quality of the videos on the channel because I won't be worried about um, interrupting anyone or being too loud. I can just do everything I want to do and just, mm, it'll be great. And I'll have a better recording station. I'll have a bigger desk than this wonderful four foot long desk. Uh, it's probably like five feet, but um, but it's just too small to, to kind of like work with everything. 
because right now the way I have to record this is because it was with Ben's computer and mine because my computer won't record face cam and the gameplay without it lagging a little bit and so I thought why not I'll just record it part of it on Ben's part of it on mine and then just link them together you know in uh, post-production that'll be fantastic I'm actually gonna go buy some more potions so we don't have to do another trip back because that would take way too long um, and so I've got two laptops here, not Pokeballs, two laptops, I've got my, not just, no, come on, okay, apparently I can't talk and do other things at the same time, but two laptops, I've got my blue snowball, I don't know if you guys can see it, here it is, eh, eh, right here, beauty, beauty, hello, but, um, and then I've got my coffee over here, and there's other things, and it's just craziness, so hopefully I'll have a bigger desk to keep all of my things on and I want to get a actual desktop and not just a laptop so that I can record all of the things that I want to without it where am I going without it um lagging a little bit so that's just that's just my game plan for the next couple years um hopefully I'll be set in the next year or two and we'll be good to go we'll be up and running uh, I know we gotta go down and around, bring it around town, double take three times. And uh, up here, boom, we already fought you, I think. No, we did not! Alright! Bring it! Bring it. I really wanna get out of this maze right now. Actually, while we're fighting this beautiful Eevee uh, that I sadly did not get in the dingy forest. Yeah, the dingy forest, that's what it was. I am going to go over the, uh, the Bible verse of the day. And it is going to be, I really hope I flip to it in my Bible beforehand, because if I didn't, I would be a silly goose. Because why would I want to, why would I want to be proactive? What is it? Hold on. Hold on. Romans 2.13. I was not flipped to it. So we're going to go ahead and flip right to it. Come on now, Acts, Romans. Romans, come on. There it is. Romans 2, verse 13. And that says, hold on, let me get out of this battle here. Is there another mon? Okay, good. So we're just gonna stay in, and I'm just gonna button mash while I read this. So we're just gonna boom. Wow, I didn't mean to run. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, fight. All right, come on. I'm trying to read a Bible verse here, Shroomish. All right, Romans 2, 13, that says, For it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. So what that is saying is, let me read it one more time. Just Right here, we're just gonna stay on this screen so there's no distractions. Listen to this right here. So it says, For it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous. So, what that says is, just because you've heard the gospel, and it's talking the law not as in like the police law, the, the American law, it's talking about God's law, which is the Bible, which it, Ten Commandments and everything else the Bible says to do and not to do. Um, let me just check if there's a hidden item up here. Um, and which is where we get most of our actual country's laws from anyway, but they just don't like to say that because they want to keep government and religion, separation of church and state and all that nonsense. But anyway, uh, it's not just that you hear it, that you become righteous, you have to actually obey it. So... Uh, for example, if you go and you steal something and you get caught and you're like, I know I shouldn't steal something, it doesn't matter. You're still going to get in trouble. Like, it doesn't matter if you've heard that you shouldn't steal. It, you actually have to not steal in order to not get caught stealing, and obviously. But it's the same thing with, uh, with the Bible and with the gospel and with uh, all that. Is If you've heard the gospel um, and if you if you've someone's preached the gospel at you've heard it in a church service you've heard it at a camp something um and let's just use this in, as an example this is like an extreme example but like you've heard the gospel and then uh you your life comes to an end whether it's old age or something um and you you're standing in front of god and god says you know i i don't want to like misquote it so i'm just going to paraphrase it because it does say like God's going to ask you what you've done on this earth, what you've done for him, what you've done for his kingdom, stuff like that. Why? Like, like what, what have you done so that I could, so that you, 
See, I'm getting into an awkward subject here, a little touchy subject, because you don't earn your way into heaven. Uh, we can't earn our way into heaven because we're so unrighteous that we can't. It's a free gift that we get through salvation in Christ. But it goes hand in hand because, like, faith without works is dead, stuff like that. We're getting so off topic, but I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand what I'm trying to say. But, um... Basically, what I'm not going to try to explain it further because I'm just going to go into circles and confuse everyone and myself. But, <laughs> but basically, if you've heard the gospel, that doesn't mean you're saved. If you've heard, if you know that you shouldn't be doing this and that and the other, um, it doesn't matter if you still don't obey it. Uh, you have to take what you've heard through the gospel. You have to take what you read in the Bible and apply it to your life and obey it. Or else it's not going to be for anything. It's just like if you, if your teacher says don't cheat and you go and cheat and she's like you cheat and you're like well you told me I did I know I'm not supposed to like she's still not going to be like oh you're it's fine okay you know you're not supposed to but you did it so you're off the hook. It's not how it works. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Romans two thirteen. Obey the law. Don't just hear it. Let's get back into this episode. Huh. All right. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the maze. Now you've defeated me, your last opponent. All right, man. Bring it. Bring it. Bug catcher Izzy. Izzy. Silcoon. Dude, Ren. Ren went from, like, level 4 to level 11 in no time, no time splat. No time flat. What's the saying? I don't know. Ha. No time. In no time flat, right? Right? Someone confirm that for me. I am going to scream. All right, we made it out of the maze though. This guy said he's our last opponent. And I just like to flail my arms all over the place. But uh, besides that, Beautifly. So we're gonna go ahead and swap into Zuko, maybe. Zuko, yeah, we're gonna swap into Zuko. Even though I want Ren to go ahead and evolve into a Herdier, I think it's at level 20. I think it's a level 20, maybe like 22, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like 19, who knows? But uh, I also want Zuko to evolve, and he evolves sooner, and that beautiful ate that up. Dang, that beautiful ate that up. Oh, the damage, oh, it's level 10, that's why. I didn't even realize it's level. All right, this should get us some serious experience though. That's a fully evolved Pokemon. 479, huh, huh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that was so close. Dust stocks. All right, we're doing the same thing. Zuko's getting all the levels. It's a good thing we bought potions because I feel like we might need to heal up because dust stocks is fat. I know dust stocks is fat. We good? Oh, oh, the damage output though is nothing. Beautifly is the ah. Oh! It's a crit. It is indeed a crit, and we get a level, and we're getting quick attack. Oh man, things are happening. Things are indeed happening. We're gonna get rid of Leer. Boom. Oh, another level is so close. And a Cascoon Zuko's gonna get level 14 right now. When do you evolve? Are you a weird one that evolves to level 14? I really hope so, but I feel like it's 16. You might be at 14 though. There's there's a couple weird ones like that. Like I know Feraligator or Crocodile evolves into a Feraligator at like level 30. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I hope Ben doesn't watch this because he will literally throw up on me if he sees me dab ever If you ever meet Ben in person, please dab in front of him, please Because he will fall to the ground and that is not a joke. Every time I dab near Ben, he hits the flow Next thing you know, Ben got low, you know, he he was not wearing apple bottom jeans or boots with the fur But regardless, we're gonna heal up Woo! Thank you, Nurse Joy. We made it. What was this town called? I didn't even see the town. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Willowwood Town. Willowwood! That's a good town name. I often see new trainers coming through here. Seems to be a popular area for them. Popular area? My hair is so beautiful. You right. You right! I see it. Alright. 
Now there was a way upwards from that bug catcher, and we're gonna see if we can catch a Pokemon up there. Just kidding, we can't, cause we're we already caught a Monarot too. Cherry berry, a cherry berry, and I believe those are orange berries next to it. Chesto berries. Just kidding. I flexed my berry knowledge on a previous episode, but not on this one. This one, my berry knowledge is lacking. Now I don't really want to jump down here, cause I feel like it would just mean that I go backwards in my life. So I'm not gonna do it. Willowwood Town. Who are you? <coughs> hey, dear. You look a little confused. Are you a new trainer? I'd reckon you head up old Ariel Mountain up north to get your first Pokemon gym badge. He's the flying type. What? He uses the flying type Pokemon, so bring some Pokemon that know rock, ice, and electric type moves. I'd reckon you bring some potions. Good luck. I need to work on my old man voice. It's not as it's not as good as I would want it to be. And can we please get a Pokemon on Route Three? A little bit of bars there, if you if you noticed. Um, uh, just kidding. We can't. Who are you? And why are you staring at this tree? Bill. Hey there. My name's Bill. I am the person who invented the Pokemon storage system. It's all my work. I was on my way to the Willowwood Town Library when I came across this small tree. I thought to myself that it, that it sure would be hard for a trainer to make it by here. Hmm. I bet you want to get by this small tree here. Well, here's this hidden machine, also known as an HM. You'll be able to cut it down. We got cut. Sweet. Cool beans. Thanks, Bill. Make use of that HM. With, with it, you'll be able to gain access to places you weren't able to access before. But I will tell you now, you need the aerial badge to use it outside of battle. Good luck. So this is nice because hopefully Lillipup can learn it, and that'll be a nice base 50 stab, which is awesome, which is grand. Now, if we get a fishing rod soon, I might want to fish. Just kidding, I'll just get a magic harp. Because I was going to say, we might need a water type Pokemon at some point soon. Because we don't have one right now. And they're always essential to- Where'd you get that Buizel? Me and my Buizel often go swimming down in Dull Flower City. We know a special shortcut. <gasps> Tell me! I want to go there. Alright, let's explore this town. The library. Where does it Bill try to get to this place? I'm reading Pokemon for Dummies. I'm reading about Pokemon mythology. Alright, alright. I'm reading a novel about a lonely zigzagoon. Okay, okay. I'm reading Romeo and Juliet. Wow, you guys are all just reading things. You're not even reading things that are grand. You're just reading... Oh, I mean, Romeo and Juliet's pretty grand. It is definitely pretty grand. Okay. You look like a, like a flying type user, like a bird master. Come on now. Get into this house. Someone give me something. So, I don't even care. I don't care. Hello, sir. I have to go hiking up Aerial Mountain. It's really bad. It's really fun to tiring. Thanks, English, for failing me. Okay. Wow, man. I can relate to that. I can. I really can. Except I usually play my 3DS with my homies. Because we just chill and have a good time. Well, that's backwards. Okay. So we've gone places. We've oh, is this a cave where I can catch a rock type Pokemon? This game just provides. This game just provides. All right, we're gonna catch them on. We are going to catch a Pokemon. Do we have Pokeballs? We have five. I'm going to get more because I don't trust myself to catch them on with five Pokeballs, even though I probably could. Oh gosh, hiccups are coming. S liquids. Protect me! I dripped again! I need to know how to drink better. I need to learn how to drink better. Oh, we can buy a lot. We're going to buy six. Now we got a nice even 10. 11 if you count the luxury ball that's in our bag. But as we end this episode, we are going to get an encounter! And I'm kind of thinking it's going to be a Geodude. But hopefully not. Here it is! What do we got? Geodude, which is great. Don't get me wrong. I love me a Geodude level 9. That is good You can be strictly strictly straight added to the team We're gonna go for a tackle Just don't self-destruct Okay Rock polish. Oh, we're gonna set up and sweep with this Geodude We're just gonna tackle away. That's all we can do. Just don't start rollouting and don't start self-destructing There's a mud sport. That's fine. Fine by me if you never leave. It's all good Alright, 
Two more should do the trick. Even a crit. A crit would actually bring it down perfectly. Yeesh! Ah! Ah! Don't do that. Hmm. That was unfortunate. What's your defense like? Let's just take a look at these stats here. We have a minus defense nature. Oh! That's why! Alright. Looks like we can go into Zuko and continue. We can just quick attack or we can tackle. Either one. Either one. Look at this Quilava. Because I don't think he has any rock type moves. I really don't. Okay. Alright. And we can just go for a tackle. And this should not kill you. It shouldn't. It just shouldn't. There we go. Cool. Alright. I'm just going to throw a ball at it. Oh yeah. Zuko's eating it up. Bag. Pokeballs. Pokeball. Let's go. Let's go. Geodude, get in here. It's a female Geodude. What do I name you? Oh. Oh. Oh, I know. Oh. Oh. What's her name? What's her name? The girl. Toph? Toph. Right? From, uh, from Avatar? The blind ground chick? Ground chick? The blind girl? Her name's Toph, right? I think. I'm gonna need to learn how to spell that. Geodude, the rock-type Pokemon. It climbs mountain paths using only the power of its arms because they look just like boulders lining paths. Oh, wait. That was a new sentence. Because they look just like boulders lining paths, hikers may step on them without noticing. Aw. I would love to. All right. We need to figure out how do you spell Toph. Okay, Google. Toph from Avatar. It's just T-O-P-H. Cool beans. T. Oh, just kidding. I can't type it. <laughs> I'm used to uh, insurgents where I can just type. Even though I haven't played that in forever. T. Oh, P. H. We got Toph, the Geodude. I'm so happy that I uh, came up with that. Even though it's probably not a very uncommon name for a ground-type Pokemon, I'm still proud of myself. Ooh, we got a Pokeball in here. A Potion! Love me a Potion. Anything in here? Anything in here? Was there anything besides Geodudes in here? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! My heart! Why? I would've loved an Onyx. I would've loved an Onyx. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I would say I'm the only one as a child who thought Geodude evolved into Onyx, because I definitely thought that. Alright, so we're going to go, we're going to heal up our Geodude, and we're going to end this episode off. So I really hope you enjoyed. If we can find the Pokemon Center, that'd be fantastic. So there we go, hopping in here, hopping in here. Okay, but like I was saying, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. I am loving this series. It is fantastic. I am excited to record it every single Wednesday for you guys, but actually... Let's check out our top. Let's check out our top. The only girl on the team so far. Brave Nature, which is minus speed, which is fantastic. Oh, that's beautiful. Because you're not fast to begin with. That's great. With Sturdy, Tackle, Defense, Curl, Mud Sport, and Rock Polish. I'm loving that. Toph, I love you already. I really do. But, like I was saying, Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, like I said, hit that like button. It would make me feel so happy inside. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, if you stuck around this far, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around this far in general, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I love you so much. Have a great day, and remember, light up the night.